So one of the things I have at my disposal with Excel is if we take a look at all of this information, you know, it's not information yet. It's it's actually just data. I've got a, a hundred different, uh, just oh, under a hundred different uh, sales records going on with who sold what, for how much, where, and when. But I don't see any kind of information coming out of this, like who was the best salesperson and where's the best kind of region to go from. And so what I can do is I can all of a sudden say, well, let me take this information and let me do some kind of special stuff inside of Excel with it. The first thing I can do is I can highlight all of this information. I can do that by simply clicking, holding, and dragging. But as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. And what happens if, as you can see, I had to go for a while? I don't want to do that. So what can I do? Well, instead, I can actually... Let's just see this for a second. If I hit the end button, nothing happens. However, if I hit control end, you notice it jumped down to row 100. If I hit control home, it comes back to A1. If I hit, say for example, shift, I'm holding the shift key and I move down, you see all of a sudden, I'm highlighting things. Well, let's actually merge those two things together. If I hold control, hold shift, and then press end, now it's not 100% perfect, you see I have a few blank spaces, but keeping shift held down, release control, and press up one, two, three times. All of a sudden I have all my data highlighted and I didn't have to click and drag anything. Now what I'm able to do with this is I'm able to utilize this data tab right here. This data tab, as you can guess, has a lot of options in there. Uh, for example, sorting and filtering. Say for example I want to sort. Well, if I click on that button, I get a nice little drop down or dialog box menu. Uh, in this case, asking me what to sort by. Oh, to start off, I'll just sort by, say, my sales representatives. And I can click on that drop down menu, and you see I get sales representatives. And I hit OK. Now you see I get Rachel Anderson, then Peter uh, Bucknell, then David Cushman. Uh, but the problem is, I get the same kind of process. You see, none of Rachel's stuff is sort of being highlighted right now. So Maybe I want to sort this again. Well, what I can do, as you can see, it was very nice to kind of already pick that up, is I can select Add Level. And just like it reads, sort by first the sales representative by this way, then by, in this case, I want to do sales. But I want to do sales from top to bottom, so the best sales going down. Again, I can select Sale. And since Excel's smart enough to realize sort of uh, we're talking about numbers instead of words, it will tell me it's from smallest to largest. I can change this, obviously, and go from largest to smallest. When I hit OK, all of a sudden I see that I get Rachel Anderson and Peter, but Rachel's first, there's Peter's, there's David's. I can do the same kind of concept. Here, all of a sudden, I'm going to add in the filter button. Notice. The only difference that really happened was every single one of my headers over here got a nice little drop-down menu. And so, say for example, I only want to see the sales of, say for example, I don't know, business times. I can select, select all. That removes everything. And if I say, come over here to business times, and I hit OK, now all of a sudden I only see the sales from all the different sales representatives still sorted when they did business times. I can go back if I want to change that or do multiple ones, IT Weekly, for example. I can see them both, or I can kind of bring them all back. The other little thing is I typically like to see this kind of thing where I can now narrow it down to just a particular person. 